Mathematics in the Time of the Pharaohs by Richard J. Gillings. This is a Dover book, meaning that it is a reprint of a book, and it is paperback. So, yeah. Let's see what it says here on the back. In the past, scholars have tended to dismiss the mathematics of the ancient Egyptians as child's play, compared with the achievements of the Greeks and other later civilizations. Nevertheless, in a society that achieved the marvelous accuracy of construction revealed in the pyramids, extensive systems of irrigation canals, the erection of large granaries, levying and collecting of taxes, and other evidences of a well-organized and highly developed culture, mathematics must have played a major role. Cool. So math in the time of the pharaohs. Wow. Copyright 1972 by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Dedicated to O. Nugabar and A. Sachs in friendship and gratitude. There's a quote here. I wish I knew as much as I thought I knew 10 years ago. Introduction. Hieroglyphic and heretic writing and numbers. The four arithmetic operations. The two-thirds table for fractions, the G rule in Egyptian arithmetic, further extensions of the G rule, the recto of the rind mathematical papyrus, the recto continued, problems and completion, and the red auxiliaries. Some more topics here. Lots of stuff in this book that you've probably never heard of, right? So it's just like knowledge. Um, it's also a Dover book, so it means it's inexpensive. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Usually these are pretty inexpensive. Here's the preface. Let's see what this says. Let me zoom in here. In 1811, Thomas Cooper, professor of chemistry at Dickinson College, Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and a Britisher by birth, said at his opening lecture, the history of an art or science is a proper introduction to the study of it, as giving a clear and concise view of the manner in which improvements have been effected, as furnishing due caution against future errors by exhibiting the mistakes of superior minds of olden times, and as rendering merit, merited honor to those who have benefited mankind by their discoveries. Mathematics in the time of the pharaohs. And it's pretty interesting, right? Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Got some interesting stuff in there. Two thirds table for fractions. And the entire book is on mathematics, the time of the pharaohs. Anyways, just want to show you this interesting book. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.